Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun one. I'm gonna be showing you some of my top 10 hero pieces from Suzanne. So I know the spring collection is dropping tomorrow and don't get me wrong, I'm excited for it. I love all the floral patterns, the spring vibes, but sometimes I feel like we need to take a step back and remember what are our hero pieces, what are the pieces we go back to time and time again because of their timeless design, because of their high quality, and just because of their wearability. And I sometimes think that's the more basic pieces, the real classics and wardrobe staples from the brand. So these are my top 10, most of which I do own. There are a few I'm including that I don't currently own, but I have tried on and can vouch for their quality or are on my wish list because I really love them. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. First up, could I do a Cezanne Heroes video without this item? Absolutely not. It is, of course, the Cezanne Leontine. This was my first ever purchase from the brand. If you didn't know, before I started my YouTube channel, I bought this back in 2020, and it was really what introduced me to Cezanne and made me fall in love with the brand. Just something about this jumper, it was all over the internet for a good couple of years, and it's become a staple in their collection now. It is available in all sizes, all different colorways. There's the Ecru and navy stripe, the ecru and caramel stripe, and this one, which is my personal favorite, the navy with the white stripe. There's just something about it. It's so simple, but it is so wearable, almost no matter your personal style. I feel like this could have a place in pretty much everyone's wardrobe. One of the main reasons I love the Leontine so much is the fabric. It's 100% cotton, so it is super comfortable on the skin. There's no itch, and it's also not too heavy, but not too lightweight. So it really can transition from winter to spring to summer to fall so seamlessly. I wear this with a thermal underneath or, or like even a roll neck underneath in the winter. And then once it gets to spring and summer, I'll wear it on its own. And because it's cotton and it's a bit of a looser weave, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but you can almost kind of see through it a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's really not very heavy. So on those cooler spring summer evenings, it's the perfect throw on jumper, something to carry with you when it does get a little bit chillier. Um, and yeah, I think just styled up with jeans, white denim, this would look gorgeous with a pair of white jeans. Just recently bought some from And Other Stories actually, so I'll definitely be styling that up soon. There's a reason this one sold out time and time again. It is so good. And if you haven't got a Leontine, I would highly recommend if you're just looking to invest in a few pieces from Cezanne just a small collection that you can integrate into the rest of your wardrobe I really strongly believe that the Leontine should be up there as one of the items that you invest in. Next up I have another piece of knitwear I could not do this video without including at least a few pieces of knitwear definitely my favorite items from the brand and the second one is a slightly more wintry version but this can still transition really well for spring and fall at least and it is the Betty. So this one is a slightly newer release. I think this first came out last year in 2022 and now it is available in so many different colors, which I love. I have my eye on this magenta one. I think this again with white denim and a brown leather shoulder bag would be so good for spring. So definitely on my wish list. but I have the rosewood version at the moment, which is obviously slightly more muted and I absolutely love it. I've worn this so much since I bought it. I'm trying to think when I did buy it, I think it was like November, December time. And basically I wear it about three times a week since then. It's again, one of those jumpers from Cezanne that are super, super comfortable. This one is 100% merino wool. There is zero itch. Merino wool is my new favorite fabric. Um, I just think it's gorgeous. It's so soft and it's a bit of a tighter knit. So it's slightly warmer, I would say, than the Leontine, but it's not super heavy or kind of stuffy feeling either. I love Cezanne's mohair knit. I have one on right now. This is the Liar. I love it. But does it scratch my skin a little bit? Definitely. Whereas if I want something, if I've got a long day or I just wanna be comfortable at home but I still wanna look good, I will reach for my Leontine or my Betty because I know they're gonna be super comfortable to wear all day. Whereas this, kind of after a few hours, I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of wanna take it off and get back into loungewear. So that's why I love these so much. And especially the... Betty with the matching Matthew trousers for an at-home lounge set would be stunning, absolutely stunning. If you wanna look really put together in your loungewear, definitely recommend that as a set. But just on its own with jeans as well, it looks perfect. This one I also have in a size medium. This is another one that I would say runs true to size rather than oversized. It's definitely cropped, 
well it's not cropped but it's definitely shorter than a lot of their knitwear it's shorter than the leontine again um so i would definitely recommend staying true to size with the betty the buttons are beautiful on this one most of them have these buttons but i know the striped version has shiny gold buttons which i think is really fun as well i'd love to get my hands on the striped one but it is sold out i believe in all sizes um so that's a bit gutting but if that comes back in stock i'd also be tempted by that one Another one I just can't recommend enough. I honestly think because it comes in so many different colours, you're going to find one that suits you, whether it's a more muted tone, a neutral like the white one or the coffee coloured one or the striped one if you're into that Parisian style. There's just going to be one that suits everyone's style and everyone's wardrobe and because they're so wearable, I feel like they're a really, really good investment. Okay, I have one more piece of knitwear to show you now. Now, I don't actually own this at the moment, but I have owned it in the past and I absolutely love it. And I just felt like I couldn't do a Suzanne Heroes video without this particular item. Can you guess what it is? Of course, it is the Gaspard cardigan. This is iconic. This is probably Suzanne's most iconic piece of clothing. What they're most well known for, it's one of the items that they did way back in the day when they first started out. I think they started with the Barry first and then they brought out the Gaspard maybe a couple of years later. Definitely before I was ever introduced to the brand. So it's been around for a good few years now and it stayed in their collection for good reason. It is gorgeous. It's super feminine, super pretty, but super easy to wear, which is kind of the theme that runs through all of these items. I want these pieces to be super wearable. I don't wanna to have to think about how I'm gonna style them up. They just do all the work for you, whether that's with a skirt, a pair of jeans, over a dress, they're just so easy to wear. Now the Gaspard's gonna add a slightly different texture compared to the cotton and the merino wool of the first two. This is one of those fluffier textures like this one that I've got on, but I would say it's one of their least itchy. In terms of like the fluffy mohair -y alpaca blend sweaters that they do, the Gaspard is on the less itchy side, which is another thing I really love about it. You don't have to worry too much about putting layers underneath it, because I would say, unless you're super, super, super sensitive, it's gonna be fine for you to wear on bare skin. So that is definitely a plus of that jumper. It's definitely less itchy than this one I'm currently wearing, for sure. Now I did own this in the purple lilac colour. I actually bought it secondhand on Vinted. Would highly recommend going secondhand for Gaspards if you can, because there are loads on the market because they've been around for so many years and they do them in so many different colours. You can find quite a few pre-loved at quite reasonable prices. As long as people have taken care of them and hand washed them, they should still be in really good condition. So I bought mine secondhand. I just found it was a little bit too big, to be honest, because I would definitely recommend sizing down in the Gaspard. This is one you wanna size down one, potentially even two sizes, unless you want it super oversized and baggy. I don't really think it suits that super oversized style. I love an oversized knit or an oversized silhouette in general, but I think with the Gaspard, because it's quite feminine looking and it's got those pearly buttons, I don't know there's something about it that I want it to fit a little bit slimmer so if I was going to buy one again which I definitely think I will at some point I would go for a size small for my usual size medium um, and I could probably even do an extra small to be honest it kind of depends on the fit but the fit I want but yeah that's the one thing I would just say if you're looking into the Gaspard I would recommend personally sizing down one size it's another one that comes in so many different colors I love them all. I honestly can't pick. I love the bright pink one. I think Mila has it and she always just looks so gorgeous when she wears it. I would definitely love that one, but I love all of them. The neutral ones, the cream one, just a classic or um, yeah, the brighter ones are so beautiful as well. I'd love a red one actually or a green one. Basically any Gaspard I'd be happy with. Um, I love that you can wear it back to front as well. So it kind of is a little bit more versatile. You can wear it open as a cardigan. So again, it's really easy to style. It can be worn in multiple different ways and just such a good addition to pretty much anyone's wardrobe. Okay, we're moving on from knitwear now. Um, I could talk about knitwear all day, but those are the top three. If I just had to recommend three, if you just want a small curated Suzanne closet, those are the three pieces of knitwear that I would recommend. Let's move on now to a blouse because I've just picked one for the blouses. Suzanne come out with so many gorgeous, feminine, pretty, lacy, frilly blouses, and they're all really beautiful, but I do think it can sometimes feel a little bit overwhelming to make a choice because most of us don't have the budget to own every single Suzanne blouse out there as much as I would love to. So if you just want one that is the go-to, the one I think is the best quality, 
the best kind of style. It's very iconic, again, from Cezanne. And it's just the one I would recommend out of all of them and kind of surpasses all of their more seasonal styles. That is, again, I don't feel like this is much of a surprise, but it is the Chloe shirt or the Chloe blouse. I just think you can't go wrong. And again, it's another one that comes in a multitude of different colors. It also comes in different materials and fabrics. So if you don't fancy the silk one, there's cotton versions, there's denim versions, there's linen versions, there's viscose versions. <laughs> there's something pretty much for everyone. There's patterned ones, there's plain ones, there's neutral ones, there's really bright ones. Um, opportunities are endless with the Chloe really and I just think it is so classically Cezanne with the Chloe collar um you know if you know you know if you know Cezanne people are instantly going to be able to recognize this no brand does anything really similar that I've seen and it's just really wearable um I love the silk versions personally I don't find them particularly hard to care for I'm not someone who washes something like this after every single wear I will steam it between wears and then when it actually gets dirty I will hand wash it in cold water. So you do have to put a little bit of time into looking after these things. But if you do that, and if you just really avoid washing after every single wear, I know it's tempting, but honestly, if you just give it a steam, I feel like that gets rid of all of the germs and any smell, um, and then it's good to go again. But yeah, absolutely love it. I've got mine again in the rosewood shade because I'm a sucker for this particular color from Cezanne, but it comes in so many different colors. I would really just love a white version as well. I think you can't go wrong. It's really classic, although I don't know how see-through the white one would be. The colored ones in the silk are not see-through, so I don't need to wear anything under this. Um, you can't see through it at all. And yeah, it's just one of my absolute favorites, and I can't believe it took me so long to buy one. I didn't have one. Well, I bought this again in November I want to say November December and I basically haven't taken it off since I wear it for work with tailored trousers I also wear it on the weekend with jeans um just so so good and I feel like it's held up really well so far obviously I haven't had it for that long but I feel like it is a good quality silk it's really I mentioned this before I love the feel of it it's very I don't know it's almost rubbery <laughs> but in a good way it's like a lovely silk you can really tell that it's silk this one I think runs true to size. I don't think you need to size up or down. I have mine in a 38 for my usual UK 10 and it fits me really well. It's not too tight, but it's not too oversized. Uh, I usually wear it tucked in, so it kind of billows over my trousers slightly, but you could wear it untucked if that's more your preference. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Would highly recommend if you're just looking for one blouse from the brand or you want to introduce yourself to the brand and kind of you've not bought from them before and you want a really good hero piece, would definitely recommend the Chloe shirt. Okay, to go with that, I thought I would talk about a pair of trousers. Trousers are a bit of a minefield for me with Cezanne. Some of them just don't fit me at all. Um, some of them fit me really well. They're all way too long. So you definitely, unless you're under five foot 10, you definitely are gonna have to get these tailored. But if you're willing to do that, you will find a really good pair of trousers. My top recommendation for trousers out of the ones I have personally tried on are the Theophile trousers. I think these are the highest quality. The ones that I tried on were the mottled beige ones and they were so thick. I couldn't get over how thick they were. They were fully lined. Um, just all of the details felt so expensive, much more expensive than the price point. They feel like they could have been kind of double, triple the price could have been from a designer brand. They were that high quality. And yeah, they were obviously way too long long on me, like most of Cezanne trousers. But as I said, if you want to get them tailored and you want a perfect fit, I would highly recommend the Theophile trousers. I absolutely loved pairing them actually with my Chloe shirt. I thought the pairing was just beautiful. And I do kind of regret sending them back. I did send them back in the end just because I think I just bought a lot from Cezanne um, during that time period and I couldn't justify buying another thing, but I definitely kind of regret it and I would love to add a pair of the Theophile trousers to my wardrobe at some point. Moving on, I'm gonna talk about outerwear now because that's another one of my favorite categories from Cezanne. I'm gonna start with probably my favorite, one of my favorite items. I'm saying all of these are my favorite items because they are, they're my hero pieces. Um, but yeah, my one of my favorite, favorite items is the Mederic coat. Again, this won't be a surprise to you if you watch my channel regularly. I have two of these, I love them so much. I have the navy version, which I bought first, and then I have this vintage blue version, which I bought a couple of months later. Um, I've gotten so much wear out of these this winter. It's my go-to coat. I kind of rotate it 
with my curated boyfriend coat, which is quite a similar design, um, but I love the two equally. I just absolutely love the um, design of this, how it doesn't have a lining. It's a double faced wool. I love the color of this particular version, but it does come in camel, olive and navy as well. I also feel like I saw a white version in one of their lookbooks, but that was never released. So maybe that will be an awesome winter thing. I would love a white version, bit impractical, but would look beautiful in this design and this silhouette. And yeah, it's like a long wool coat with a tie belt. It's a really classic style, very much reminiscent of like a Max Mara style, but at a fraction of the cost. And I do think for the fact that it's 100% wool, all of the details are beautiful. It's got some lovely buttons um, and it's, it's quite elegant and timeless. I feel like the price point is actually quite fair for what it is. I have looked at a lot of coats that are this price or more expensive and they are wool blends. They are mixed with polyester. Um, they aren't 100% wool and this one being 100% wool, I just think trumps a lot of the other ones. Um, at 370 pounds, it's definitely an investment piece, but it's one that you will have in your wardrobe for many years to come, particularly if you get it in a color that's gonna go with a lot of your clothes. I almost feel like the navy one might be more timeless for me, but I am really loving the vintage blue at the moment. Um, yeah, it's just one of my top pieces from Cezanne. Obviously, we're heading out of winter now, so it might be one you want to bookmark for autumn, winter, 2023 when that arrives. Um, having said that, I did snow a couple of days ago here and there's still snow on the ground as I'm filming. So this is definitely still my go-to coat. I have not transitioned yet to my trench coat, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I hope they keep this around as a core piece in their collection. I hope they don't get rid of it because I think it is so good. It's definitely my favorite coat that they do. They do some other styles that I just don't think are anywhere near as good. I have tried on a few. Um, I think I tried on the gym coat and um, yeah, I've tried on a few of their styles and usually they are wool blends, they aren't 100% wool. And I just don't think the quality matches up to the Mederic. So if you're looking for a Cezanne coat, a winter one, then this would be my personal pick. I do have one more coat for you because I love this one as well. Um, so this is my, so this is not a very good way to show you, but I will do cutaways. Um, this is the Cezanne Scott Trench. This one is a more recent edition. I bought this back in January, ready for springtime. I still am yet to, to wear it much because it is so cold at the moment, but I'm hoping very soon this will be my go-to coat. Um, and I absolutely love it. Again, this is another one that I think the quality for the price point is really excellent. I think there are trench coats out there that are much, much more expensive that do not rival the quality of the Cezanne one. I absolutely love it. Again, all the details are beautiful. I love the fact that the the belt is attached to the coat physically with buttons. So um, it never slips out. You never lose it, it never falls out. It never falls over too much to one side. That used to drive me absolutely mad with my old trench coat. It even has buttons on the vent. So you can open or close the vent depending on how flowy you want it to be, your height, things like that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The lining is lovely. It's like a polka dot lining in the same shade as the outer uh, layer of the coat. It's just beautiful. It comes in three different colors. It comes in the classic beige. So if you're a real classic dresser, you want something that is the most timeless, go for the beige one. But I love the khaki and it also comes in navy as well. Another piece I feel like you can't go wrong with. I, I honestly feel like everyone should have a trench coat in their wardrobe. I'm not one who often kind of dictates wardrobe essentials because I think they're so different depending on your style, your lifestyle, how you like to dress, um, how casual or formal you need to be but a trench coat is one of the things that I think is an exception to that rule because I just think everyone could benefit from a trench coat. They are so good for the transitional seasons, spring and autumn. I think they are perfect for that and they just look so chic, particularly, obviously, if you do like that Parisian style. So yeah, the Scott Trench, would highly recommend. Gorgeous, gorgeous coat. I am absolutely dying to be wearing that more often. I just need it to warm up a little bit more. 
and I feel like I've been saying that for months now, so hopefully soon. Okay, let's talk about accessories now. I do feel like one of the categories Suzanne is most well known for are their belts. I think their belts are so unique. I don't know of another brand that do belts like Suzanne. They have so many different styles and they're all so beautiful. It's like so much thought and attention has gone into the design of all of their belts. Whereas normally I feel like belts can be very plain. They can all look the same. They're very simple. Suzanne always add those little touches to theirs and I think it makes them really special. My favourite one, um, a bit controversial because I feel like most people for Suzanne Heroes, Suzanne Classics would go for the Artemis belt, which is a lovely belt, but my personal favourite is the Gaia. I think the Gaia is just beautiful. I love, love, love the buckle on the Gaia and I love the shades that it comes in as well. I was really eyeing up the pink one for a long time, but I absolutely love the beige one as well. I think that would be so good for neutral, lighter toned outfits. And I love that it doesn't have belt holes. Um, so instead of kind of choosing a hole and dictating the sides of it based on that, you just pull it to fit your waist or your hips wherever you're wearing it. So it probably fit more people because of that and you can really tighten it up to the exact position you want it rather than the size being dictated by where the holes are, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I love the guy. It would be my number one recommendation for belts from Suzanne. I don't own it personally, but the beige one is definitely really high on my wish list. Okay, we just have two more pieces to talk about now and I'm gonna talk about shoes next. I own quite a few pairs of shoes from Suzanne, probably about four. I've got a pair of boots, a couple of pair of sandals and these. And instantly I knew that these were the ones I wanted to include in this video because I think these are so good and the best shoes by far that I have tried from Suzanne. And I know a lot of other people love these as well. And it is the Vicky Loafers. So these ones are in the black. Um, so the most classic pair, but they come in a few different colors now. The chocolate brown color are beautiful. I want those as well. The white pair are gorgeous for summer and I loved the red pair. I think they, they did those first of all and I think they might be sold out now, but they were really nice as well. They're just such a good shoe. I love a loafer in general. I think it's a really timeless style, never dates. And um, I just love this particular take on a loafer. I love the simplicity. They're not too chunky. So obviously really chunky loafers have been on trend for a few years now. These surpass trend in my opinion because they aren't too chunky but aren't too slim. They're a perfect in between. They're a little bit more feminine than something like the Prada really chunky loafers or the Gucci ones. And I love this detail here. I think it is really pretty. Um, it's simple. I love the tone of the hardware as well. It's like that brushed brass. Um, rather than a really bright gold. Just beautiful. One of my favorite things about them is how soft they are. They're really soft leather. So they're really comfortable to wear. They don't need any breaking in. And um, they're more of a moccasin style almost because of like the gathering on the leather. Um, they're just super comfortable to wear. And I absolutely love these. They're my favorite pair of loafers I've ever tried, ever owned. I have owned quite a few pairs of loafers over the past few years because they have been a staple style of shoe in my wardrobe for a long time now and these are my favorite I have ever tried I'm so glad Suzanne brought these out I absolutely love them would highly recommend them particularly as we are getting into spring now and having kind of a bare top of your foot is a little bit more acceptable we can kind of start wearing shoes like this as opposed to boots I'm going to be wearing these a lot and as I said I would love a slightly lighter pair as well like a brown or a white um, for more lighter tonal outfits so yeah I think Whatever colour you get, you're going to absolutely love them. Everyone that I've recommended these to says they're so comfortable, they can walk so far in them, and they just look so good as well. The final piece I have is, oh, I was really debating what the 10th item should be in this video because there were quite a few that almost made the cut. Things like the wheel jacket, so iconic. I do really like it. Um, things like the Alicia skirt. I love the Alicia skirt. I've got one and I've tried a few versions. I think it's a really timeless style. I think it's really lovely skirt, but I just didn't feel like it was a hero piece. And the item I decided on in the end after much deliberation was the classic Milo bag. Now I love a lot of Suzanne's bags. I think some of their leather goods are really lovely. I love the Faro bag. I love some of their straw and bucket bags. I love the Romeo bag even, but I feel like the classic Milo is the most timeless, the most chic and yeah, the most classic of all of their designs and the one that if you were only gonna pick one Suzanne bag, 
I think that the classic Milo should be it. Now I don't own it and the reason I don't own it is because I already own the curated classic shoulder bag which is almost identical to the newly designed classic Milo. They did change the clasp on the Milo to be more like this um, rather than the old toggle clasp and they look really really similar. They're basically the same size, same length strap and I just don't need both in my collection. I'm really happy with this one but if you can't get hold of the curated one or you would just rather have the Cezanne one I would highly recommend it. I have seen it in store in person and felt it and the quality looks really lovely. It's obviously more of an investment piece. I think it's a similar price point to the curated one um, but I do think it's just it's so timeless and I love the fact that you can wear it crossbody or you can wear it on the shoulder, similar to the curated one. The curated one has two straps, so you can do both as well. Um, I'm really into a shoulder bag at the moment. It's my personal preference. I just, I like that kind of more 90s style at the moment. And I like the ease of just wearing it on the shoulder. It's really comfortable, really easy to, to wear. But also if you do want it crossbody, maybe you're in a busier place and you just want it to feel a little bit more secure or it's more comfortable or you just prefer that look, then you can also wear it that way as well. So nice and versatile. And I just, yeah, I just think you can't go wrong. I think anyone's style would benefit from that particular bag. So that is my last piece, but there were a few items I was really deliberating over. So it was a really close call on that last particular item. And that is it. That is my top 10 my hero pieces from Cezanne, my wardrobe staples, the ones I get the most wear out of and continue to get the most wear out of for many years to come. I think if you're overwhelmed by all of the collections that Cezanne are dropping recently, they have been really ramping up and releasing so many new pieces each week. And I think it can just get too much. I've kind of checked out of it a little bit recently, mainly because the spring stuff isn't massively speaking to me. I'm not loving any of their new releases, but I kind of realized that all of these items, the really classic wardrobe staples that they do are my favorites from the brand. And I go back to them time and time again. If you would like to check out anything that I've mentioned, I will leave links to everything down below. I think pretty much everything I've mentioned is still available on their website and is part of their core collection. So will continue to be available if you ever do want to shop them. Thank you so much for watching. Do give this video a like if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. If you would like to see more Cezanne content and more Parisian style content as well, I do wanna do some reviews of some other brands because as I said, I'm just not feeling the Cezanne spring collection at the moment. So if you would like to see some reviews from and other stories, Evelyn, Reformation, brands like that, or any other brands that I haven't reviewed yet, Rouge maybe, if I can bite the bullet and order from them, then let me know down in the comments below and I'll make sure to add those to my list of video ideas. Other than that, I hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll see you very soon in my next video.